All right, for example A, we need to find the surface area of a cone. And I went ahead and put the formula for surface area up here in the top right-hand corner. To find the surface area of a cone, we need to take pi times the radius squared plus pi times the radius times the lateral length, or the slant height. Now, we do have the radius. The radius, of course, is uh, one half of the diameter. So the diameter is 18. That means that our radius from here to here is just 9. So that much we have. We know that r equals 9. Um, of course, we know pi. What we don't know is that lateral length. We need this measurement or this dimension from here down to here. Um, we don't know what this is at this point. We only know what. Oh, why my lines aren't working well? Hmm, odd. Anyway, we only know what the vertical and then the horizontal for this triangle would be. So what we're going to do is go ahead and flesh in this triangle here. This is 21 right here. 21 units, and then 9 units across the top. So what we're looking for is side C right down here. So we're just going to use Pythagorean Theorem. So to find our slant height, we're going to have our slant height squared. C squared is equal to 21 squared plus 9 squared. Well, 21 squared is 441, and 9 squared is 81. So if we add those two together, we get S squared, S squared equals 522. So then what we need to do is take the square root of both sides. So we can get just S, and S will be the square root of 522, which is like about 23 about 23 units, yeah? So this length here then is 23, and that means we can plug that into our formula. So now we have pi times r squared, so 81, pi times 81, plus pi times r, so that's 9, pi times 9, times our lateral length, 23. So now we just need to run all that stuff through our calculator. So we're going to do pi times 81 equals 254 and a half. So we got 254.5 plus. Now we got pi times 9 times 23 is 650 and a third plus 650.3, so that gives us, clear, 650.3 plus 254.5, 904.8. So the surface area then of the entire figure is 904, we'll say about 905, about 905 units. And there we go. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says find the volume of the cone. So for volume, we need to do one-third of pi times the radius squared. And we do know the radius. The radius is 5 times the height. And we don't know the height. We know the slant height on this one, which is what we needed on the last one. But we don't know the height on this one. So we'll do the same trick. We'll just use Pythagorean theorem. We'll have 15 squared equals... 5 squared plus our height squared. So 15 squared, remember it, that's 225, right? Clear 15 squared, yeah, 225. And then we'll take that 225 is equal to 25 plus h squared. Subtract 25 from both sides. 200 is h squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we get h is the square root of 200, clear, 200, square root, 14.14. So h is approximately equal to 14. So our height then is about 14 units. And now we can plug that into our formula. So we have 1 third of pi times r squared, so 5 squared is 25 times 14. 
let's plug that into everything here and run through the calculation. Pi divided by 3, so that's our one-third of pi, a little over 1, just a little over 1, times 25, times 25, times 14. We get 366 and a half. So that's 366.5 is approximately equal to our volume. And of course, that's cubic units because it's volume. Yeah? All right, example C. Example C says, find the volume of the cone. Hey, this one, we actually have what we need. <laughs> we have one third, we know that. Pi, we know. Radius, we almost know. Technically, we have the diameter, I suppose. So the radius, of course, would be half the diameter. So it would be three. Well, at least finding what we needed was easy on that one. And the height we already have, it's six. So we have one third of pi, one third times pi times three squared, that's nine, times our height, which is six. Now here, I'm gonna take one third of nine because that's easy, so I'll just go ahead and multiply this by this. A third of nine is three, so now I have pi times three times six. Six times three is 18, so that gives me 18 pi is my volume. That was easy. Why the last one the easiest? How odd is that? All right, all done.